I'm really, really excited about what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, this mobile apps business is amazing. Um, I've been around in, in, in the internet marketing space for the past 15 years uh, doing it professionally. It's what I do for a living. And honestly, I haven't come across a business model so exciting, so potentially lucrative since the early days of the internet, since the internet boom times. So that's why I'm so excited about this opportunity, and that's why I'm excited about being able to present it to you guys um, because of that fact. It really is the type of business that anybody can get involved in and anybody can make money. It really is. It's, it's, it, it's so much simpler than what it appears to be, and hopefully tonight I'm going to be able to show you that. I'm going to be able to share with you some secrets that the... Uh, uh, insiders really don't want you to know but I'm gonna share these secrets with you because I think it's important for you to know uh, just how tremendous of an opportunity this really is you know I hate to start uh, out with bad news but I'm gonna share something with you here because I think what we really need to have uh, in starting all of this is a reality check here's the reality check folks again remember I've been in the internet marketing space home-based business space for the past 15 plus years and here's the reality. 97% of all home-based businesses fail to ever, ever make any significant dollars. And when I say significant dollars, I mean at least $1,000 a month. Okay? 97% of all home-based businesses don't even make $1,000 a month. That's reality. But what I want to share with you now is some good news. Here's the good news. When I started to research and really do my due diligence on this business model and looking at the mobile app business, here's what I found and it absolutely blew me away. 41% of all app developers are making money. 41%. Now think about that statistic I just shared with you on the on the last slide. 41% of all app developers are making money and there's a significant percentage of them making a lot of money every single month. I'm talking five figures every single month, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 dollars or more per month. I'm not talking about companies, I'm talking about individuals here. That's the good news. Let's take a look at the market. Number of smartphones sold exceeded the number of PCs sold last year. I want you to kind of let that sink in. There's more smartphones out there than there are PCs. Okay, More smartphones than PCs and that trend will continue dramatically. People are accessing the internet on their phones now, right? The same kind of thing that they were doing, that they're doing on their laptops are able to do on their phones tablets I don't know if any of you have tablets I've got a uh, Android tablet I love it by the way but tablets alone should pass PC sales in the next two to three years but here's the key now's the time to get involved in the mobile market especially the mobile app market what's gonna start to happen feature phone sales are gonna start to go down smartphone sales of course are increasing exponentially what's eventually gonna happen is everybody with a feature phone and what a feature phone I, I, I like to call feature phones dumb phones and hey listen I I had a dumb phone for years it was only in the past probably three years that I got a quote-unquote smartphone but feature phones are gonna really go away probably in the next five years all of those feature phones are gonna be replaced by smartphones what happens to the app market at that point right it goes through the roof check this out apps are now a ten billion dollar a year market and it's growing <laughs> this blows my mind it's growing at a hundred percent per year the growth rate is is unbelievable in this business now even if you don't have apps on your phone if you don't have a smartphone you've I'm sure heard of angry birds Angry Birds alone has 600 million downloads. 600 million. It's only been out for like a year. 600 million downloads. Beating out Nintendo DS, including all their games, by a dramatic number. A dramatic, like 500 million. 
it's an amazing market space and then finally just take a look at the this is globally global mobile apps downloads okay you can see the growth rate since 2009 and, and, and again this is across the world but but just about every single market not even just about every single market in the world has grown exponentially with with app downloads and again keep in mind as those feature phones start going out of circulation and people start getting smartphones instead of the feature phones what do you think the the, the app download chart's going to look like then right yeah it's just it's going to go through the roof here's really what I drilled down on we talked a little bit about uh, the 41 percent figure 41 percent of all app developers are making money but check this out just to give you some examples here uh, of uh, and again these guys I, the, the people that I'm showing you here do not have developer backgrounds the guys that I'm showing you here have internet marketing type backgrounds okay that's where they're coming from they got into the app market and look at the kind of money that they're making G Wang and Jeff Smith a million dollars in their first year Ethan Nicholas a million dollars in less than seven months Joel Com, which again if you've been in the internet marketing space anytime at all Joel's been around forever hundred thousand dollars in less than two weeks Costas made a hundred thousand dollars in three months uh, Bart Deckram touched a hundred thousand dollars in three months and 20 million downloads on his apps in the first year uh, Steve Demeter two hundred and fifty thousand dollars quarter of a million dollars in two months and then Brian Greenstone in, over a 15 month time period five million dollars in the apps business the money to be made is absolutely amazing But let's talk a little bit about you know when I look at an initial business I look at barriers to entry and to me on the surface there appeared to be a lot of barriers to, to, to entry in the app space and so let's talk about them I, I, I want to put this on the table the average cost to build an app is anywhere from six hundred to two thousand dollars that's the average cost app development and marketing training I mean just to go out and to bring yourself up to speed and to understand the marketplace understand development understand marketing everything that goes into it that's gonna run about two thousand dollars your marketing costs alone can run two thousand dollars per month graphics easily can run a thousand dollars and up on 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 your apps so you're looking at just to get started upwards of seven thousand dollars up front and two thousand dollars a month now that's you know for a lot of people that's a pretty high hurdle as far as I was concerned well let me again again share some good news with you what if you could build apps for as little as twelve dollars each actually not you you can have them built for a little as twelve dollars each but what I'm gonna show you is how to build them for free how to build them for free how to market them with no dollars out of your pocket okay and still generate significant income what if I can show you that would that lower that bar would that lower that barrier absolutely it would so let's talk about developing apps the wrong way and I know you're looking at the screen right now and you see angry birds and you're going Rick <laughs> how can developing angry birds possibly be wrong it's one of the most successful apps in in, in history it's over 600 million downloads it's it's making millions of dollars um, it, it, what's wrong with that well let me tell you what I mean by this the 59 percent of the app developers that don't make money this is how they they enter the market they come into the market with what they think is the next big idea they've got everything in one basket right they put all their eggs in one single basket they think they're gonna come out with the next angry birds and they invest thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just in developing the app and then spend a ton of money on marketing and et cetera, et cetera. and then it fails it fails folks that's the wrong way to get into this marketplace it's it's it it's the way for sure it's the way to lose money no question about it so let's talk about the right way what's the right way to get into this business well there's a few things there's six keys to success and if you follow these keys if you follow these steps to success you absolutely will be guaranteed to make it in this business there's a very simple three-step formula that we uncovered in our investigation actually a couple of the mentors that I've been working with people that are mentoring me in this business 
um, turned me on to this formula and I'll tell you something it made perfect sense once I saw it I'm gonna share it with you tonight and really the right way is to spend little to no dollars not a lot of dollars to build apps that's really the right way and I'm gonna show you it's really part of that three-step formula so let's talk about the six keys to success I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly because I'm gonna come back to a number of these and kind of uh, go into a little more in-depth first and foremost market research obviously you have to understand your market you have to understand what's working what's not working in the app space what are some of the hot uh, niches what are some of the hot topics uh, app development certainly key to success doing it the right way understanding that <clears throat> once your app is developed this is again where a lot of people fail you've got to take a look at it from an analytical point of view you've got to see what's working what's not w working what people like what they don't like and then go in and make certain adjustments to make it even better the marketing and monetization side is critical number four is probably the you know other than coming up with a, a decent idea developing it the right way and getting it out there in the in the stores marketing and monetization is absolutely key I'm gonna spend some time on this in a little bit certainly having the right team and systems in place uh, g goes a long way to you succeeding or not succeeding and then finally the network your professional networking the type of network you're gonna build we're gonna talk about that as well in a little more depth here down the road here's really the key to marketing apps this is this is the one key point that I want you to understand this is really a key ingredient to the secret sauce here and really making it in the apps business I want you to think of the app store and, and on my screen I've got the iTunes app store um, but this applies to any of the app stores Google uh, uh, you know the Google Play Store uh, Amazon's app store etc Windows app store all the app store is it's one big search engine when people are looking for apps they're looking for apps in what they do in in a problem they're looking to solve that's how they look for it rarely do they put in angry birds or or, or the name of an app what they're looking for is they're looking for a problem to be, to be solved so that being the case does it make sense that apps then themselves would be keywords absolutely totally so app stores the search engine apps or keywords keep that in mind I'll come back to that here in a minute so first and foremost on that list on those six steps to success market research you gotta do the right kind of market research there's a number of different market research tools out there that uh, will help you find the right kind of apps what's working what's not working what I'm showing on my screen here is a terrific resource it's called top app charts and say you could find it at topappcharts.com topappcharts.com tracks all of the iTunes apps by category by games both paid and free and they break it down into minute detail and show you what the top apps are what the trends are how many downloads they're getting etc 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 it's a great way to find out what's working in the marketplace and what's not working frankly but market research is absolutely key and doing it the right way is absolutely key uh, in, in understanding the market understanding what what people want in the marketplace is key here's really I think um, probably the, the 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 single most important factor in all of this is this simple three-step process and it comes down to testing the market first then expanding again most people get in the app business they come into the app app space with one idea they develop that app they put it out there if it works great if it doesn't they're screwed okay this process is completely different this is that magical three-step process I talked about earlier so this let's let's walk through this so step one is called quantity you develop quantity apps this is this is where you're gonna build a large number of apps to test and these are really info apps they're simple apps but you can make money on in this in this space I'll talk about that in a minute from step one you go to step two basically you're learning from step one and in step two you're building what's called quality apps and those quality apps are based on what's converting over here in step one quality apps are entertainment and productivity apps is really what it comes down to 
then ultimately you get over here to step three. Step three is you're building super apps, okay? And you're building those super apps with the earnings that you get from your quality apps and your quantity apps. And super apps are going to be entertainment, productivity, and game apps. But you don't get to this super app space until you've really kind of got your feet firmly on the ground in steps one and step two and you've developed a large number of quantity apps and a, and a fair number of quality apps and again this is where most people want to jump right to this super app space they want to have that one big winning home run right off the bat okay but this is the winning formula this three step process simple yes lots of, of elements in it but it is simple this is the winning formula let's drill down on a little bit farther so when I talk about quantity apps here's what it looks like this is the blueprint quantity apps you're gonna deploy at least a hundred each month expecting a minimum of hundred and fifty thousand downloads averaging six thousand in revenue now think about that for a minute these are just apps that you're putting out there to test the market but you do it very very smartly that market research that's where that comes into play you do it very smartly I'm gonna show you some of my quantity apps here in a minute but you do that very smartly you're generating income on these apps and I'm gonna show you these are all free apps by the way these aren't paid apps these are free apps but you're generating income off of them now that moves into quality apps because remember you're learning from your quantity apps that's going to dictate what you develop in the way of quality apps here's where you're gonna start spending some money on the quality apps okay you're gonna deploy three each month expect 10,000 per month per app in revenue starts to get pretty interesting at that point finally you get to that super app space trust me when I say if you're doing this the right way and you're putting out a hundred quantity apps a month you're putting three quality apps you're gonna uncover a gem you're going to uncover an absolute super app in all of that. A super app, you're going to deploy one of those every three months, and your expectation is $100,000 per app per month. That's the golden goose right there is the super app. But you don't get to that until you've, you've firmly got your feet on the ground with quantity apps and quality apps. But listen, even if you never uncovered the super, I know guys that are making eighty thousand dollars a month just off of quantity apps and and a handful of quality apps eighty thousand dollars a month they don't have a super app so don't get too hung up on the fact of you know geez I don't know if I could ever develop a super app in many cases you'll never even need to get there I'm just saying it's all part of the formula ultimately ultimately at some point you could get to that spot but even if you never got past the quantity and quality app um, steps you, you could still make ridiculous money with with this formula so let's take a look at the revenue model here it is Remember, we talked about the quantity apps quantity apps are free apps but you're gonna monetize those free apps using banner ads and affiliate marketing I'm gonna show you those examples here in a minute how that works then of course you have paid apps right paid apps are uh, you, you see them all the time it, you, you know the the lowest price you'll see is 99 cents which is the vast majority you might see some at a dollar 99 399 I mean I've seen them 699 but the vast majority are 99 cents but you know 99 cents times 10,000 downloads can add up very very quickly right but paid apps is what I think a lot of people think of in the app marketplace and then you've got freemium apps freemium apps are a combination of free and paid I'll explain how that works in a minute but freemium apps are very very popular these days as well but here's the best part of this of this revenue model the best part is as you develop these apps doesn't matter if they're free apps or paid apps or freemium you're building residual income because you're not out there just putting that app out and then it gets X number of downloads and then goes away that app is out there and if it has any traction at all it will continue to get downloads every single month and with those downloads you're generating income it doesn't matter if it's a free app you're still generating income you're generating residual income so if you're developing 20 30 40 50 apps a month you're putting those out there every single month you're generating 
residual income off of what you did the previous month and the month before that and so on and so on that's the one of the best parts of this entire revenue model is the residual income aspect of it so visually here's how it works so you've got a free app up here you have a number of free apps you've got banner ads on those free apps you have affiliate offers on those free apps and you even have some paid app offers on those free apps okay the great thing about free apps is they generate a, a, a tremendous amount of traffic and that traffic again we're monetizing that traffic with banners and affiliate offers and other paid apps but you're also gathering you're building a list okay <laughs> this is the great thing that I discovered the smart guys the smart guys are building massive lists with their free apps massive lists because basically you're just putting a screen on your app that says hey give us your name and your email address so we can send you an announcement when we have other free apps like this that you can download and the conversion factor on that on that opt-in by the way is astronomical and the the, the kind of numbers that are being built uh, with these lists is amazing absolutely ama I mean you know I know a lot of big-time internet marketers who maybe might do five six thousand um, opt-ins a month right five six seven thousand opt-ins a month maybe as much as ten thousand opt-ins a month I know guys in the app business that are doing five thousand opt-ins a day a day off their apps so it's an amazing marketing tool so let me show you this is one of my apps this is one of my free apps it's called gluten-free uh, gluten-free living and here's the banners here's an example of a banner that runs at the bottom of my app okay that I generate income from then I've got this offer tab down here at the bottom so here's all my navigation tabs here's an offer tab somebody clicks on the offer tab they get this offer of this gluten free handbook okay six step gluten free diet plan somebody clicks on that they purchase that guess what I make nineteen dollars nineteen dollars and believe me it adds up but that's how you monetize this is exactly how you monetize these free apps let's let's get into the economics I love the economics of, of how these app, apps work I want you to understand how these free apps are working and how they're monetizing so here's what you can expect um, per app easily easily you can expect 500 downloads a month per app okay 500 downloads a month per app you're gonna get about a 1% conversion rate on offers now remember you have to be smart about this you have to do it the right way you have to have the right market you have to have the right offer but again that's what we do we teach you that's a part of our system we're gonna teach you that we're gonna give you all of those components and elements but this is what you can expect 1% conversion rate on your offers so if you've got 500 downloads a month and there's a 1% conversion rate on that what is that gonna give you it's gonna give you five sales right five sales a month now average sale that book that I just showed you okay that it's an ebook actually that is a commission to me of nineteen dollars and sixty two cents per month okay so per month per app ninety eight dollars and ten cents using this example ninety eight dollars and ten cents per month per app you're saying well Rick that's ninety eight bucks a month how is that good how is that great well let's let's take it to the next step if you have 10 apps apps out there you're looking at nine hundred and eighty one dollars per month right and remember remember this is a residual income model residual income you're not just gonna put 10 apps out there and then go okay that's it I'm done you're gonna put 10 apps and then you're gonna put another 10 apps and then you're gonna put another 10 apps and so on right so so 25 apps per month that's twenty four hundred dollars actually more than twenty four hundred dollars per month fifty apps per month uh, is almost five thousand dollars a month and a hundred apps is ninety eight hundred dollars a month do you understand where this is going and remember it's that's only five hundred downloads a month again I know guys in this space a lot of guys in this space actually that are getting ten fifteen thousand downloads a month 10 or 15,000 downloads per app per month not 500 this is why this is such an exciting business model 
because this is the kind of thing that you can do. The other thing, the other key element here, and this was kind of the last step. This was the last step in all of this. This was that uh, professional networking step, building an app network. Here's the app network that we're building, and this is what we teach other people to do as well. First off, we are building a network of appreneurs. We're, we're connecting with other successful people out there in the app space that are building apps. And we're doing cross promotions with those people. So they're promoting our apps. We're promoting their apps and obviously non-competing apps. Okay, But that creates this big network of cross promotions. So that's a key element. The other thing that we're doing is connecting with other app companies companies that are looking I'll tell you what they're looking for here's what blew my mind as well there are companies out there looking to buy apps and when I say buy apps I don't mean go out and buy an app for 99 cents and download it I mean they want to buy the entire rights to your app okay they're looking to buy apps and they're they're paying thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars for um, for apps, right? Usually, it's like a collection of apps. It's not going to be just one app unless you've got like the next Angry Birds. But it's it's like a collection. It's like you know you build up a a, a base of fifty apps, and and you're generating the kind of income that I said you know on this on this past page or more. Companies are going to come in and say, hey, I want to buy all that from you. There's a right way to build it, right? But this is the kind of network that we're building because here's the bottom line. We can create a huge app business together. You can take advantage of our app network. We're going to teach you how to build your own, but especially in the beginning, why not take advantage of what we're already building? Okay, so let's kind of summarize all of this. Let's, let's put a, 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 this into perspective the app success secrets okay here's the success secrets first and foremost doing the right kind of research up front not just coming up with this idea that you think you have for an app and 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 jumping into the marketplace and not doing any kind of research so research is absolutely key up front and doing the right kind of research is key up front following that three-step formula right following that three-step formula keeping that as your focus keeping that as your blueprint absolutely part of the success formula and then building that app network or taking advantage of our app network now what that does ultimately what that does you can create a huge app business for yourself a huge app business and you can have an app business that's producing four five six thousand dollars forty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars a month you can have an end game strategy where you say I want to go ahead and sell it I want to just develop companies and just flip those companies and you can, I, I again I know people that are doing that every 12 to, to, to 15 to 18 months they're, they're they're building companies and then flipping them and selling them for millions of dollars they're basically just building this app base and then somebody stepping in and going okay I'll give you two million dollars for it great here you go and then guess what they do they just start all over again but that's the kind of atmosphere that we're working in let me tell you something there are more there is a bigger demand for that for people that want to buy app apps want to buy apps than there are apps to buy bigger demand it's it's an amazing marketplace right now I'm very very excited about our mentors about the people that uh, these two guys that I'm working with that uh, really I'm following their success formulas I've kind of taken and learned from these two guys Chad Muretta you may know him he's got a, a best-selling book on Amazon called App Empire he also created a very successful uh, program called the App Empire which uh, he sold out he, he doesn't sell it anymore Amos Shaw, very successful young guy, um, got into the app business about two years ago. Within 15 months, he sold his app business uh, for, you can see it on the screen here, for almost $2 million, $1,950,000 he sold his app business to. 
um, two very, very successful guys. Uh, basically, I've taken what I've learned from them, put this together, put these formulas together, and then added some some of my knowledge, my marketing knowledge from the past 15 years in building very, very successful internet marketing businesses. But it's great to have this kind of experience this kind of of you know of direction as we move forward as well so let's take a look at the program that we put together with social app income it's a it's a six-week training program first and foremost step-by-step -step program to take you from zero knowledge from knowing nothing about the app business to being absolutely knowledgeable in six weeks time so week one we go into this is kind of that market research phase right you will kind of notice by the way that the training really really kind of boils down to those six steps to success but in week one we're gonna show you how to pick the right categories for your apps and how to do and apply the right market research strategies to help you target the absolutely the right audience I'm gonna show you how to set up your app marketplaces the right way when I say set up your app marketplaces I mean um, iTunes Store, uh, the Google um, Play Store, which is the Android Marketplace, um, the uh, Amazon App Store, uh, the Windows App Store. Show you how to set all of those up the right way. How to choose the right app name, right? Remember, it's all keyword centric. Very, very, very important piece right here. How to choose the right app name. I can tell you right now, because I've chosen the right app names, I've been able to get my free apps into the Google Play Store and on the same day that I get them in there they're ranking anywhere from number two to number four or five in that app space the first day because I understand the way the game really works and then finally we'll teach you SEO strategies so your app gets maximum visibility in the app stores exactly what I was just talking about so that takes us through week one kinda lays the foundation we get into week two we really start to have some fun now because we're gonna start actually building apps here we're gonna go into the ins and outs of graphics and design elements basically how does to design basic gra graphics for your apps or find those I'm gonna show you a number of really cool easy ways to find graphics for your apps as well and again we're not talking about spending any money here for the for this aspect I'm gonna talk about five key copywriting strategies that you're gonna to need to have for your apps copywriting really comes down to writing the right description for your app because think about when you go to iTunes or you go into the Android uh, App Store Google Play Store two things that you see you see visual images graphics of that app you know you see the icon you might see some screenshots and you you get to see a description what helps you make a decision on whether or not you're gonna download that app those two things so these are key elements we're gonna teach you we're gonna show you how to build your own apps for free wait till you see our free app builder the piece of software that we have that you guys will have to be able to build your apps I'm going to show you that in a minute uh, we're going to talk about some initial key monetization strategies some simple strategies to get the most out of your 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 apps here in the early stages and then how to test your apps and get them ready to submit into the marketplaces that takes us through week two then week three week three is talking about submitting those apps how to submit your app to the three stores to get accepted so in other words doing it the right way really we want you to understand the approval process because if you do you're gonna get it accepted 99% of the time let me give you a little clue here uh, iTunes is the real process iTunes right now can take 10 to 14 days to get approved you gotta jump through these hoops it's it's well worth it the difference between the the, the iTunes store and the Google Play Store the Android store you submit a an app and as long as everything technically is fine with it and you know it's not pornographic or gambling or you know something that's restricted it gets approved immediately and it goes into their marketplace you know the the minute you hit the submit button that's the difference but you definitely want to understand the approval process when it comes to iTunes uh, what to do after your apps have been accepted there is a process to that we teach you that if your app isn't approved we'll tell you what you need to do and again this really is only going to apply to to iTunes but it's a it's a big it's a big piece but but we'll show you what you need to do if you end up being that that one percent of the time it doesn't get accepted 
and then finally how to leverage the entire approval process and really get your apps moving in those app stores so you can start seeing some immediate downloads week four we get into uh, analyzing we really to start taking a look at what's going on with your apps that are out there so how to analyze your stats and your data to find out what you need to tweak what you need to adjust to maximize your apps potential in week four we're going to get into some advanced monetization techniques to even get more revenue out of each app uh, how to take advantage of our app network to explode your income we're going to teach you how to do that here in week four finally we're going to get into some advanced marketing techniques now understand up to this point everything that we're going to teach you is going to be free marketing how to get your app out out there how to get exposure for your app how to get downloads and you're not spending any money getting into some advanced marketing techniques will teach you how to do some paid uh, advertising for your app some paid marketing that's very effective and works extremely well I, I, I'm gonna tell you that you don't need to do this necessarily but if you want to kinda supercharge things at that point it's gonna give you that option then we move into week five how to motivate and reward your customers to download more of your apps right I mean realize as you're getting downloads you've got people that have this on their phone now your apps how do you motivate them how do you reward them so they download more of your apps we're going to teach you that in week five we've got a really cool app upgrade strategy that we're going to teach you in week five that's going to add even more income to what you already have bringing in how to piggyback off of other apps that you and your competitors have this is a really cool neat trick that we're going to teach you here in week five as well remember how I told you that you could build this massive list especially with your free apps uh, we're going to teach you that list building technique and the tricks involved in that here in week five as well. And then finally, we're going to start showing you how to build quality apps. We're going to start building quality apps here in week five. Then finally, we get to week six. Week six, we're going to focus on a really cool uh, technique. We're going to leverage everything you've learned. Um, and we're going to apply it to the local business market and again this isn't for everybody but for many of you especially those of you that have been social media managers or you've had local business clients this is going to be a really really cool thing to do because we're going to show you how to build apps for the local business market and get paid to do it uh, we're going to show you how to create and grow your own network of appreneurs so in other words yes you're going to be able to take advantage of our network but we're going to show you how to grow your own as well here in week six we're going to show you some advanced SEO tricks uh, to get even more downloads so we're going to get into some advanced techniques here in week six we're going to show you how to sell your apps through our network uh, and when again when I say sell your apps I mean sell them outright sell the rights to your apps for thousands or tens of thousands of dollars um, or, or we're going to show you how to do that on your own as well finally really really cool I love this piece in week six how to outsource your entire business or pieces of your business listen this business uh, is perfect for outsourcing uh, basically it could put you in the driver's seat so all you're really doing is just coming up with app ideas you're just kind of doing the upfront um, decision making based on some market research actually you can even outsource your market research and then look at all the data as it comes in the door you make a decision about what that's going to be and then you outsource everything else or pieces of it what you're going to find is you're going to find some things that you really love to do here in this business that's what you should focus on focus on what you love to do outsource everything else but you don't want to jump right into that you want to learn every aspect of the business so when you go to outsource it you know exactly what you're looking for so this takes us through our the the, the training that